Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today, you have the Rhino, and we're going to look at this beer. This beer is from Lake Bays. This is their Switchback Pilsner. Now, the Switchback Pilsner is 4.5% alcohol by volume. Uh, I don't know exactly what I'm expecting out of this. It's it's a Pilsner. So, uh, I'm just expecting it. I'm hoping that it'll be something like either uh, either like Firestone Walker's Pinto Pills or like um, uh, the Common Good Beer People, their uh, Social Bowl Pilsner. It's about all I can hope for is one of those two, because those are two of the uh, few craft pilsners I've really, really enjoyed. Uh, there's, if you're wondering, I, I did have a can on the table that uh, was leaking. That's why I did just do that and then sniff it to see if that was water or the beer. Uh, anyway, slightly hazy. Not, uh, not overly hazy, but slightly hazy. Nice golden color. Bright white head. Get out of the glass, it's just kind of grassy. Out of the can, it's kind of grassy, a little bit sweet, and a little metallic. Uh, it smells the part of a Pilsner. Let's try it. Cheers. Light-bodied. Refreshing. Easy drinking. Light, grassy, and earthy tones on the back end. Slightly candy sweetness on the forefront. Um, really, this is a fine pilsner. It just uh, it's a little sweeter than most pilsners I've had, and that's that's about it. Other than that, it's a fine representation of the style. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing great about it. It's a pilsner. It's being drank at basement temperature. There's no faults in it. I don't really. Uh, Sorry, I, I don't do coke or anything, I just have a lot of nose hairs. And I have a mustache, so they touch. Um, I don't I don't care for it, but I don't dislike it either. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. I could drink it easily enough, I could uh, go without it easily enough. But I mean, that's more the style of beer than anything else. If you're a, a fan of a good Pilsner, this would probably be right up your alley, because this is a very well-made Pilsner. If you like your pilsners just a little bit, a little bit sweeter than that, than that kind of straw dry, dry taste up at the front, this is probably right up your alley. For me, I'd give it a six five out of ten. I have absolutely no problem with this. I could drink this if somebody brought it over. I just don't think I would go out of my way to get it. So thank you guys for watching. Cheers. Have a wonderful evening. <sighs> bye bye.